Hello everyone, this is Arden Arcasido and for today's video, I'm going to show you the different exercises that will be performed before doing a trail or before doing a hike. In this video, there are three different exercises that are being executed. We have cardiovascular exercises, the muscle strengthening exercises, and the last one is the stretching. These three exercises are very important before before doing a trail because it will help you prepare your body, your physical body, in order to avoid any injuries or any stresses in the body as you go along with your trail. But before doing any activity or exercise, we must perform warm-up first. Warm-up is very important because it helps prepare our body and our muscles. Warm up is very important because it helps prepare our body for aerobic activity. A warm up gradually revs up our cardiovascular system by raising our body temperature and increasing blood flow to our muscles. Warming up may also help reduce muscle soreness and lessen our risk of injury. Cardiovascular exercise. A cardiovascular exercise is a vigorous activity that increases our heart rate and also our respiration. It raises our oxygen and blood flow throughout the body while using large muscle groups of the body repetitively and rhythmically. In addition, it challenges our most vital internal organs and improves the function and performance of our heart, lungs, and circulatory system. Muscle strengthening exercise Increase muscle mass, make the bone stronger, joint flexibility, easier to control weight, and improves balance. The first muscle strengthening exercises is called the seated leg lift. Sit on a chair with your feet on the floor. Slowly raise the lower portion of your leg. Hold for 6 counts. Slowly lower and relax. And do the same on the other leg. Do 3 sets of 10 repetitions. The second one is called the skier. Stand with your back against the wall. Lower yourself as if sitting in an imaginary chair and hold this position as long as you can. Which won't be long until you build up good thigh strength. The next one is called the calf raises. Stand with your heels hanging off a step or fat telephone book. Rise to your tiptoes, then back again. Repeat it to 12 times. This exercise is called the abdominal crunch. Lie on your back feet off the floor, thighs perpendicular to the ground, knees bent at 90 degrees, hands behind head. Curl your upper torso towards the knees, keeping your lower back on the ground. Raise and lower slowly. Then do the same on the other leg. Repeat multiple times. The next one is called the prone leg left. Lie on your stomach, slowly raise your foot until your lower leg is at 45 degree angle. Hold for 6 counts, slowly lower and relax. Repeat 10 times for 3 sets. Add ankle weight as with seated leg lifts.
The last muscle strength exercise is called the prone hyperextension. Lie face down with your arms at your sides. Slowly raise your head, upper body, arms, and legs off the floor. Lower them to original position. And then repeat multiple times. Stretching is an important part of staying fit, especially when you're building your muscles. Stretching decreases the danger of suffering a pulled muscle to prevent from any injury when exercising or hitting a trail. The first stretching is called the hamstring stretch. Lift one leg and place your heel in something about the level of your hip. Grab the elevated angle and bend forward as far as possible. And then switch Legs. The next one is called the quadriceps stretch. Stand on one foot, grasp the ankle of the leg to be stretched, and pull the foot up to your buttocks. Then switch legs. The last stretch for today's video is called the calf and a cellist tendon stretch. Stand four feet from a wall or tree and place your hands in it. Lean forward by bending your elbows, keeping your back straight and heels on the ground. Hold this position, feeling the stretch in your lower legs. Then switch position. After performing any exercises or activity, cooling down is necessary. This because after exercise, your blood is heavy in your extremities and your heart rate is usually elevated. The purpose of the cool down is to return your heart rate close to resting. Stopping quickly without a cool down can result in lightheadedness, dizziness, and or fainting. And therefore, cooling down exercise must be performed.